Hi, my name is Sunday. In this video, I'll be talking about government in crisis in Italy and the resignation of Teresa Bellanova. So, Teresa Bellanova, the woman that brought about sanatorial documents, the woman has resigned from government. And as well, Renzi has pulled out his party, Italia Viva, from the government which is going to lead to the collapse of Italian government. So because of that, Italia might head back to the polls again, or Italia might head back to voting again. And Salvini says they should bring it on, that is ready to go for voting, because he knows that his party might win, and then Salvini might come back again. So that is what is currently happening in Italy. Italian government is in crisis once again. It says, Italy government on verge of collapse as Renzi party quits. So Renzi's party, Italia Viva, has pulled out from the government, which is going to lead to the collapse of the government. It says, Italy's government, led by Prime Minister Giuseppe Conte, risk collapsing in the middle of the COVID-19 pandemic after a junior coalition party poll ads. Former Premier Matteo Renzi said his Italy Alive Party, which is Italia Viva Party, is quitting the coalition, attacking Conte for failing to do enough to tackle the country's problem. Though the party is tiny, though Renzi's party, Italia Viva, is tiny, very small party, he says Conte relies on it to maintain its majority in parliament. So it was a coalition government. Renzi's party, Italia Viva, is one of the parties that forms the government. Now they're withdrawing from the government, make things difficult for the government. There are many bees. There are many things that need to be passed in the parliament. So as they have withdrawn, it makes things difficult for the government. They will not have majority to pass any B, just like other things that have been passed or other things that have been amended, like Savini's law that have been cancelled and new one brought into place. So they will draw and will make things difficult once again. Now, probably, if they head back to the polls, if they go back to election, Savini might come back and all those things that they have cancelled before, then Savini might bring them back again. Then what? We are back to square one. Renzi has pulled out from the government. He has pulled out his party from the government. He's going to make things difficult for the government. It might lead to another election that will bring back Savini. All these years, all this suffering, Savini's party is anti-immigrant party. So they are against immigrants, they are against many other things. All these benefits that Conte's government have brought into place, who knows, Savini's party might turn them back again, like the way it was in his era. So this is what is happening currently in Italy. It says, Renzi's decisions part a government crisis, which will last days or even weeks and has no clear solution in sight. What Renzi has done has sparked government crisis that is going to last for days or even weeks. At the moment, there is no solution in sight. That is what they are saying. There is no solution how to resolve it. It might lead to Savini coming back again. He says, Teresa Bellanova and Elena Bonetti are the ministers who resigned from the Conte's government. So Teresa Bellanova and Bonetti are the ministers that have resigned from Conte's government. Teresa Bellanova, she is the one that brought about the sanatorial document that makes many people, many undocumented migrants, many foreigners that make them having documents right now. She has resigned from the government and Renzi has brought crisis to the government once again. And this thing might lead to Savini coming back again. And things will become harder and difficult once again for foreigners again. So he says, Respondi, when Savini heard about this thing, what just happened? The resignation of Teresa Bellanova, the crisis that Renzi has brought by withdrawing his party from the government. He says, responding when Savini heard about it, 
for Savinis and Molini. However, they said, it is time to return to the post. So Savini is already calling for election because this opportunity for him, opportunity for him to come back again, to undo everything that they have done that have benefited my grant, to undo, to cancel all the things that are put in place. This is what Renzi has caused the government. But at the moment, all hope is not lost. We are still praying that everything will come back to normality. That Conte might find another smaller party that will replace Italia Viva. So that things will come back to normality again. So this is what is happening currently in Italian government. Italian government in crisis once again. Salvini might come back again because of this crisis. He might take advantage of it. If things go sad or things go bad, Italy might head to the polls again or election once again. Then there's a probability that Salvini might come back. If Salvini comes back, then everything that they have done, Salvini is going to undo them once again. So let's pray that everything come to normality, that everything work hard good. That this crisis might be taken away for the Italian government to be stabilized again. So thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Please like, comment and also share it to others as well. And if you know you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do. Subscribe and make sure you click the notification bell. So that whenever I upload any new videos or information, you will know. Thank you and God bless you. Bye.